how to create banner ads, interstitial ads, which are full screen ads, and rewarded ads. With all of these, you can earn money in your Flutter app. For showing ads in our application, we use the Google Mobile Ads package. For Android devices, we need to go to the manifest.xml file and add this metadata in the application tag with our ad app ID, which is a test ID. For iOS devices, we need to go to the info.plist file, then add this key along with a string of our ad app ID, which is a test ID. Before loading ads, we need to initialize the mobile ads sticker in our main method. Now inside our ad mob service helper class, we define ad unit ID for the banner ad and we will have different unit ID based on our Android and iOS platform. Now we can define our ad unit IDs for interstitial ads and rewarded ads. Now we want to show a banner ad in our bottom navigation bar. Therefore we check if banner is null, we return an empty container, else we return a container with an ad widget as a child, which takes our banner as a property. Now we define a method in the init state to create a banner ad. Then inside this method, we define our banner ad, which we make it full banner size. Then we add our banner ad unit ID, and after that we need to have a listener. Therefore inside our ad mob service class, we define a banner ad listener to have the different state of our banner ad, like when it is loaded or failed to load or when the ad is opened or closed. After that we request an ad, then we can load our banner ad. Now as you can see we have a test banner ad in the bottom of our app. We define another method inside the entity state to create an interstitial ad. Therefore inside this method, first we load the interstitial ad with its unit ID, then request an ad. After that we have a callback. When it is loaded, we update our interstitial ad with this ad. And when it is failed, we set the interstitial ad to null. Therefore, we need to declare our interstitial ad in the home page. Now we create a button to show our interstitial ad. Therefore, inside this method, first we check if the interstitial ad is not null. Then we will have a fully screen content callback. When the ad is dismissed, we dispose the ad and create a new ad. When the ad is failed to load, we dispose it and create a new ad. Now we can show the interstitial ad and after that we can set it to the null. Now when we click on this button, we will have our ad in full screen. Now we define another method inside the init state to create rewarded ad. Therefore inside this method, first we load the rewarded ad with its unit ID, then request an ad. After that we have a load callback. When it is loaded, we update our rewarded ad with this ad. And when it is failed, we set the rewarded ad to null. Therefore, we need to declare our rewarded ad in the home page. Now we can create a text to show the rewarded score we will earn. Therefore, we need to initialize the rewarded score in our home page and then create a button to show our rewarded ad. Therefore, inside the method, first we check if the rewarded ad is not null. Then we will have a full screen content callback. When the ad is dismissed, we dispose the ad and create a new one. And when it is failed to load, we dispose it and create a new ad. Now we can show the rewarded ad and when the user earned reward, we increase our rewarded score. And at the end, we set the rewarded ad to null. Now we can click on this button to see the ad. Test ad. Nice job loading it. I'm gonna go fire the reward callback for you. And when we, it is finished, we can close it. Then we can see we earn a reward here.